Good night, teacher. Good evening. Hello, hello. Can you hear me? Yes. Excellent. Okay. How you doing? No, I'm just really tired today. Really tired. Why? <laughs> uh, uh, I went didn't, to the You didn't use it well? Uh, <laughs> that is uh <laughs> that is a recurring problem. But uh today I went to the dentist and then I had a very long meeting and so on. So where do you work? I'm sorry. What do you do? I work I work in Gemma Multimedia as I'm a project manager. Y pues veo, veo algunas, en algunos proyectos, en específico uno. Estoy, estoy como eh, en cargo so you, de, de, de generar las alianzas. You got a lot of responsibilities. Yes. Yes, teacher. Did, uh, do you hear me? I, I, I barely hear you. I can I hear you, but very low. Um, I don't know why. This is maybe your uh, microphone. Um, I don't know. Can you hear me now? Maybe is the is the connection. Okay. Hello. Uh, I think it's the connection, teacher. You think it's the con the ear and the connection? Yeah. Yes. Got it. All right, it is eight o'clock, right? Okay, let's start another English class. This is the class number 24, if I'm not wrong. So that means that we have just this class today and the class that we're gonna have on Monday, all right? And then you will have vacation, okay? Um, well, let's start in today's class. We're going to remember the use of indefinite. The use of indefinite pronouns. Okay, and for example, in the previous class we studied the use of, um, for example, somebody, someone, nowhere, anywhere. Also, we studied um, the modal verbs 
like should, must, can, could, all right? Also, the first conditional, second conditional. We have been studying a lot of uh, topics, but today I'm just, I'm going just to review the topic that we studied yesterday and with the same presentation. I don't know if you can see the presentation. Let me know, please. Can you see the presentation? Yes, teacher. What do you mean? Thank you. Doesn't sound good. Let me double check. Okay, indefinite pronoun. Well, indefinite pronouns are those uh, are used to refer an object or person that is unknown to the speaker. Okay, uh, for example, we don't know his name or we don't know her name, or for example, we don't know, or it doesn't specify the name of the place. So it is unknown. It isn't defined. Okay, so we have different, like every, every, in every we have, for example, everybody, we have everyone, everything and everywhere. And what does every mean? Well, basically, this extra, this structure refers to all, okay? It refers to all members of a group. It is used in affirmative sentences. As well, we have, ah, here we have a sentence that we, well, these sentences and this presentation you studied yesterday, but I brought it again, just to remember the info, because today we're going to um, study with using some quizzes. All right, yesterday you practice, uh, I gave the explanation, and today we're going to have those like mini quizzes. All right, for example, everyone, everyone, it says here, knows Shaggy is core guy. Next, now you have everything you need. Now you have everything you need. It, it's so messy in here. There are clothes everywhere. It's so messy in here. There are clothes everywhere. All right. Then we have some, somebody, someone, something, and somewhere. Somebody and someone are basically same, are the same thing. For example, refers to one person, one thing, one part of a group. It's used in affirmative sentence. Remember, it is used in affirmative. Someone is knocking on the door. I want to tell you something. My keys must be somewhere. My keys must be somewhere. All right. All right. Then we have any. When do we use any? Do you remember? Any, it is used um, either in negative or question, question. Anybody, anyone, anything, anywhere. It says here, um, it refers to one person. It's used in a negative, in negative and interrogative sentences. For example, is there anyone who can help me? Sorry, but we can do anything for you. There are so many people you can sit anywhere, in cualquier lugar. Next. All right. It says, no one, nobody. All right. Affirmative sentences to give a negative meaning. 
I'm not wearing my glasses. I can see nothing. We never buy milk. No one in my family likes it. Where's Jack? Nowhere. He's gone. Okay, here you have this table, maybe this chart, and maybe it can help you. All right. Well, now uh, let's have the practice. We're going to have the practice with indefinite pronouns. Indefinite pronouns. Hold on, hold on. Okay, well, there you go. Remember when we use, oh, when we use uh, indefinite pronouns, the verb, it is in third person singular. For example, if it is, um, if we use someone is, all right, or someone has. Hold on, hold on. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna share with you a link. Okay. It's taking longer. Okay, here you have the link. Here you have the link. Can you open it?
Teacher, microphone. Teacher, we can hear you. Oh my God, que novato. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> is there, is there someone because it's requesting something? Okay, it's requesting. That's why someone. All right. Uh, has anybody seen Julia today? Um, what is the correct option? Please listen to me. I've got something important. To tell it, ah, very good, guys. Uh, nobody wants, nobody wants to eat yet. All right, then we have. It was a terrible day. It nothing seemed to do right. All right, uh, next it says someone ate my food from the refrigerator. Uh, I have, I have nowhere to go tonight. Indefinite pronouns for places, everywhere. Good. Indefinite pronoun for things, everything. Very good. My math teacher knows almost everything about numbers. My bedroom is somewhere I can sleep. A sculptor is someone who makes sculptures. Very good. Do you know anything about me? Leave, my, leave me alone. I don't want to go. Okay, anywhere. Very good. Okay, do you want to try again? Uh, let's play another one. Hold on, please. All right, there you have another link. Can we start it now?
Okay, I'm going to end it up the game because it took longer. How was it? How was this one? Easier, more difficult. So, so, 15 50. Piece, a piece of cake. A walk like the park. Okay, well, top five. Top five, Miss Karen. Thank you. Jessica, second, fourth. Uh, three, Miss Yvette. Number two, Yvonne. And the winner, Mr. Guillermo. Excellent. Very good. All right. Okay, here it is. I went. Somewhere. 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 Then we have. Someone told me. Somebody. You took you. Someone. 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 Anything? Anything. Have you got anything? Very good. And this one? Nothing. No. Nothing. Let me see. Nothing. Very good. How about this? Anything. Anything. Um, Someone. It's very dark. I can see anything. Anything. Did. Anybody come to Anybody. the park? He has nowhere to stay. Ah, he is a homeless. Homeless. Everybody. Everybody. Jen wants to have something. Okay. Something. Very good. Very good. All right. Well, now we're going to open the manual. Okay, well, we're going to have the following activity in group. Okay, it says, think of a brand. Think of a brand you are very attached to. That means very, that you like, that you like a lot. Okay. Think of a brand you are very attached to and one to which you are familiar but not attached. Then use the description of brand loyalty parameter parame to identify where is the prime you are in respect to this brand. Use the analysis question as you refer. For example, how long have you been accustomed of the brand that you like? 
Uh, what are three features you love of, for example, how long have you been a customer of Apple, for example, Apple brand? What are three features you love of? Um, uh, the security, uh, it is easy to use, and the camera, for example. Would you recommend Apple brand to friend or family? Would you be willing to pay more to enjoy more benefits from Apple brand? Okay, so you have to compare one of your two brands. The the most that you like the the one brand that you like that you like the most. Okay. Okay. All right, we're going to compare the the brands.
Hey, ya viene vin un montón de gente. Ah, no, no. Hi, mister. Hi, mister. Hey, what's up? How you doing? Hi. I'm great. Great. I'm great. Yes. Hay una expresión en inglés que se dice I am on clown nine. I am on clown nine. Que significa que está feliz. Ah, literalmente significa okay. en la nube 9 no sé por qué, nunca entendí esa expresión pero significa eso I'm, I, I'm on cloud 9 ah, ok ok, ok es que este oh, día estoy de aniversario oh, really? <laughs> sí, usted ya son 17 años de estar aquí hey, with your Felizmente, felizmente casado ah, okay. <laughs> so you got married very young <laughs> I, I am cloud 9 on Cloud no, no, no. Ah, you are excited, emocionado, excited. Ya, ya voy a yo, comprar cohetes al pueblo. Yo, ahora estábamos celebrando una pequeña celebración. A my baby. Ah, ok. Pero ya, ya se durmió escuchándome. <risa> <risa> ok. okay. Eh, lo hacemos de manera individual y luego compartimos, eh, digamos, las la experiencias que tenemos con nuestra marca. Ok. Quizás unos cinco minutitos. Ah, le estaba explicando, Rosy Vela, en la página 39, vamos a... La Apolila. Elgie. Elgie. You have to compare you have to compare two brands. Ones that you love, that you love, and the second one that you like. Mm -hmm. yeah, podemos usar esa otra, Samsung y LG. What are the two brands that you will compare? I'm sorry. Can you repeat it again? Samsung. 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 Okay. And LG. Okay. And LG. Mm -hmm. Y hoy le vamos dando respuesta a las preguntas. Mm -hmm. En la primera pregunta, en mi caso, about cuánto tiempo years, ha sido cliente? Three years in the, the Samsung. Oh, well,
¿Cuáles son las tres funciones? Peri con Elgi. Tal vez alguien tiene. ¿Tiene experiencia con Elgi? Uh -huh. Yo solamente le he usado como dos o tres años un Elgi. Yo ya póngale para hacer una. Aquí. Uh-huh. Okay. What are three features you love of Samsung? Los tres funciones. Uh-huh. Las tres características. Mm -hmm. La cámara. Es la este. Cámara. La cámara y es muy amigable. O sea, es fácil manejo. It's friendly. Uh -huh. It's friendly, yes. It's friendly. Or easy to use. Or very familiar. ¿Cuál otra? Capacidad. O, o memoria. Memory. ¿Y el G? Ana, ¿cuál es? ¿Estás satisfecho con LG? Ahí que nos diga Silvia que, que es la que la ha usado. Um, en mi caso. <coughs>
Are you done? I don't understand. Did you finish? Yeah, I finished. Good. Una pregunta, compañero, disculpen, y con las preguntas estas que están, tenemos que este tenemos que contestarlas. Está en el libro de la página 39. Marca. No. <laughs> no. 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 Cumpla con las funciones de modernización. Uh -huh. Teacher. Hello. Eh, ¿Cómo ordenamos la pirámide? No escuchamos, no. Ok, ok, how about now? Yes. Ok, for example, eh, you can use the description that is in page 38. For example, the performance, what is more, more important for you? The performance, the relevance, the advantages, the presence. Mm. For you. The bond. Okay. Okay. Pero es comparando las dos marcas o tomando en cuenta solo una. La que usted considera que es la mejor. Ah, ok. Ah, okay. Esa era lo que quería entender. Ay, Ajá. sí. <risa> Nosotros una mezcolanza y vamos a hacer ahí. <risa> Thank you, teacher. Bueno, entonces tomamos Samsung. Sí. Ajá, o sea, la, la fidelidad a la marca que nosotros consideramos sería Samsung. Ok. Y la uno estaría con... Presence. Huh? Uh, performance. Pero es, uh, performance. Performance. Advent. Adventage. Adventage. ¿Cuál es el hijo? Las ventajas. Adventaje. Okay. Relevant. Relevant. Bonding, sí. Bonding. Mm -hmm. 
Estamos. We're finished, right? You're done. Good. Yes. Hello. Well, now you solve the questions. Okay, you have to answer. Okay, for example, it says, how long First of all, tell me the brands that you used or that you... Okay, tell me the brands. I hear Samsung. Samsung, mister. Okay, you, mister, tell, tell me. Uh, okay, Samsung. And the first uh, question, how long have you been a customer of Samsung brand? In my case, uh, uh, approximately 10 years of being a customer of the brand. And how long, I'm sorry? Uh, 10 years. 10 years, that's a lot. Yes. And the uh, question number two, what are three Feature you love of Samsung brand. Mm -hmm. I um I love um the price and the versatile versatility. All right, and Versat versatility. Versatility and the warranty uh, service center. Okay, the guarantee. Very the good. Guarantee, yes, and. Would you recom recommend uh, Samsung brand to recommend recommend uh, Samsung brand to friends and family? Yes, I will recommend it. All right. And, Why? And uh, for because uh, because I uh, I am very satisfied uh, with the product. Got it. Yeah, I, 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 and the uh, last question, would you be willing to pay more to enjoy more benefit from Samsung brand? No, mister. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be willing. 
willing. Okay. Do you know what willing is? Willing is uh, uh is dispos dispuesto a uh -huh. mm -hmm. for example Entonces, I, I I wouldn't be willing. Okay, okay, you wouldn't uh, be willing. Uh, uh, because uh, uh, I pay uh, for these benefits, but I don't pay more money. Only have a, a few benefits additional. Okay. All right. Excellent. Thank you. Okay. I don't know if we got another volunteer who wants to to read or explain the brand. Another volunteer. Me, teacher. Thank you, Miss Claudia. And um, how long have you been a customer of okay. Brand? Okay. I'm already already ten years. And what are three features you love of Samsung brand? And I like cameras. And easy to, to use. And capacity. Capacity. Would you recommend Samsung brand to friends or family? Yes, because it's friendly. Would you be willing to pay more to enjoy more benefits from Samsung brand? No, I don't. Would be be willing to pay. Can you can you repeat the last one, please? Would you be willing to pay more to enjoy more benefits from Samsung brand? In my case, no. I know. I I I not. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Be, uh, be, I wouldn't be, be. I wouldn't be willing to pay more. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. Oh my God. Okay. Well. Um, okay. Now we're going to have the conversation this paragraph it's a little bit it's a little bit long and it says mac i guess it's it's red it is red like this mac cosmetics a brand by este lander has a loyalty program for for online shoppers and it features three tires the first the first tire is called the seduced. To join this tire, you don't need to make a purchase. You just need to sign up in the web page. Perk, perks in the in the, in this tire include early access to limited edition product. Tire two is to call devoted. You get access to this tire by spending 150 or more in a year. There is also early access to select collection, complimentary express makeup application and more. Tire three is named obsessed for consumer who has spent more than 500 per year on product members of this of this tire it is get to be the first to shop in certain collection and also get complimentary service mac i'm sorry mac keeps customer engage and 
the tires. I'm sorry. We're at, ah, okay. Tears keep consumer motivated and more the company to get more exclusive content. Amazon Prime for 99 a year. Amazon Prime offer not only three shipping, but also other benefits such as as live streaming music, movies and TV shows, storage for digital phones and more benefits of this loyalty program and access the annual fee for those who take full advantage of the membership. In return, members get a host of benefits ranging from free from free next day delivery and returns to access to the Kindle lending library to unlimited streaming of videos of music and music for many Prime members. The initial interest in Prime is piqued by the promise of free next day delivery. If you purchase something from Amazon very month, then Prime will save most people money over the course of the year. Okay, here we have a pair work and it says, how can you tell if a loyalty program is effective or not? Read the following characteristic that define good or, or bad loyalty program. Then write an evaluation of the program above. Number one, consumers are confused and are engaged by complex loyalty programs. Consumers are annoyed when their points or reward expire. Consumers prefer to be rewarded reward for things they do on a daily basis, such as grocery shopping, rather than occasional activities such as travel. Okay. All right, well, uh, here we're going to answer uh, this question. Okay, and the manual says that you need to practice the article, the article. Okay, and this will be faster than the previous activity. Okay.
in the web page. First, in these tiers include early access to limit edition product. Tier two is called Devore. Uh, you get access to this tier by spending $150 or more in a year. There is also early access to seller collection, complementary express makeup application, and more. Tier three is named Obsess. For customers who spend more than $500 per year on products, members of this tier get to be the first to shop in certain collection and also get complimentary service. Uh, Matt keeps customer engaged and the tiers keep customer motivated and move the company to get more exclusive content. Amazon Prime for uh, $99 a year. Amazon Prime offer not only free shipping, but also other benefits such as live streaming, music, movies, and TV show. A storage for digital photos and more. Benefit of this loyalty program can exceed the annual free for the, those who take for advantage of the membership. In return, members get a host of benefits ranging from free next day delivery and return to access to the Kinley, Kinley creo que sí, sí, sí. lending library to unlimited streaming of videos and music. For many Prime members, the initial interesting Prime is picked by the promise uh, of free next day delivery. If you purchase something from Amazon every month, then Prime will save most people money over the course of the year. Okay. Veamos si contestamos. Dice, uh, how can you tell if loyalty program is effective or not? What's the mean picket? Did you finish? Not yet. Not yet. Okay. Not yet. Okay. 
Hello. Hi, I'm sorry. The second, I don't know, consumer are confused. Um, are in, in get it by complex loyalty program. But okay. And the two skip consumer motivate and move the company <coughs> to get more exclusive context. But in the benefits of, of this loyalty, can accept the amount for those who take full advantage. In return, members get a host of benefits ranging from the free next day. Mm. Oh, oh, something that is being used in IT. Okay, well, I saw some of you practicing the conversation. So today we're going to review one of the topics that we studied before and using. A one app. Okay, this is, this is the link. This is the link that we're gonna use. And maybe this one, this website we have used it for like twice, one, two, three times. Silvia. Yes. Sure. Yvonne, thank you. Mr. Luis, Ms. Silvia. Ms. Concepcion, thank you. Okay, got four players. Miss Rosibel Hernandez, I guess. Yes, Miss Rosibel. Okay, may I start? All right, thank you for sending the link. Thank you. Yes, sir.
Okay, there you go. Okay, question three, two, one, now. And it says, you play football if... For answers, can you play? Should you play football? Excellent. Miss Yvonne, now she is on the top. Mr. Luis is second. Miss Sandra is third. Four, Mr. Guillermo. And fifth, Miss Concepcion. Next, the question says, you focus more on your family and lesson work. You you should focus more on your family and lesson work. Okay, now we have new leader, Mr. Luis, he is the new leader, and Mr. Guillermo, his second. Miss Sandra, she's third, fourth, Miss Karen, and fifth, Miss Rosivet. Excellent. Next question says, you but it is here. You sit down in the class. You must, excellent, you must. Now Mr. Luis is second, I'm sorry, Mr. Luis is first, Mr. Guillermo is second. You, chat in a church. You mustn't because it's obligation. You mustn't. Okay, Mr. Luis is first, second is Karen. All right, you can't, mustn't, shouldn't drink. You mustn't, excellent. You look tired. I think you must, you can, you should. You must, excellent. Uh-uh. Mr. Luis is on the top, Miss, uh, second Miss Karen. Okay, next one. All right. Do my homework every evening. Okay, first position, Miss Luis, second, Miss Karen. Okay.
you can answer the question. It's easy. In the last question, hey, I'm lost. Excellent. All right, the podium. Mr. Guillermo, he is third. Second, Miss Karen, in the first place is four. Mr. Luis, excellent. Congratulations. Very good. Four was Miss Yvonne and fifth, Miss Sandra. Excellent. Very good. Okay, well, now let's play another one. Right now. Hold on, please. Okay. There you go. I'm holding. Okay, I'm gonna share with you my the link. Here you have the link. Okay, well, now I, we have seven. Okay, can I start now? Miss Cecilia, thank you. Yeah. Is anybody trying? Okay, let's start. Ah, Mr. Guillermo again, thank you. There we go. What is this mouse name in the Disney movie Dumbo? Okay, Timothy. Mr. Guillermo, excellent. Who is the main antagonist? Antagonist. Who is the female chef? Who is the uh, who is the female chef in Ratatouille?
Excelente. Miss, uh, Miss Karen, she's in the top now. What is the little boy little boy's name in Winnie the Pooh? En la única que voy a adivinar. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Karen. Like Miss Yvonne. What is the cat's name in Cinderella?
How many puppies did Cruella the Bill need to make her coat? 99. Miss Karen is still on the top. Second, Miss Yvonne. Third, Mr. Isaiah. What is the musical power? <laughs> okay, and the last one. Not teacher, I need to see all the movies again. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and the last one. A menos no me quedan cero. <laughs> no, hombre. Third position, Sandra. Second, Miss Yvonne. And the winner, Miss Karen. Congratulations. Very good. Mr. Luis, not in the top today. Mr. Isaias and Mr. Guillermo. Excellent. Very good. Well, now, uh, well, I need to take the attendance list so please get ready okay a piece of advice is to do the homework today because on monday we finish so try to finish everything as soon as possible uh, for tomorrow please before tomorrow if it is possible today let's start uh, hernandez sotelo present teacher clarixa maribel calderon de lopez Present teacher. Alvarado de Benavides. Present teacher. Guerrero Molina. López González. Present teacher. Rugamas Melara. Present. Excelente. González Isaías. Present. España Marroquín. Present. Alvarado Mejía. Present. León Rivera. Present. Castaneda Velasco. I'm here, Mr. Romero Ayala. Present teacher. Fernández Rosibel. Present teacher. Molina de Garcia. Present. López de Cabrera. Present teacher. Excellent. All right. Well, let's stop right here. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Have a good one and see you for the last class on Monday. God bless you and good night. Good night. Good night. See Me desconecté de Zoom. Vaya, le mandé un zoom.